Hey guys, James with TFB TV. I'm over here at Fight Light, SHOT Show 2019 Floor Day. And Fight Light, as you guys know, is one of the more innovative companies out there. They always do something different. You guys remember the Raider from last year and the uh, the SCR, right? Yep, sport and, rule, yeah. That's right, it. with the 50 state legal AR uppered rifle. So everything, it seems like there's something new every year from you guys that kicks ass, and this year is no exception. So I've got my buddy Mike with me. You guys may remember him from last year. Mike is going to look down upon me and tell me <laughs> sure. about the MXR. Sure, so this is our new product for SHOT Show 2019. Like I said, MXR, it's a uh, caliber and magazine convertible um, extended range pistol is what we're saying because you know you can get on there you can uh, you can make a shot further than you would with your Glock or your absolutely uh, and so on but our whole premise of designing this gun is so that you could match your sidearm in both caliber and magazine so let's say you carry a 5.7 pistol we can adapt to that so That's you carry it the first guns that are going to ship are going to be Glock 9 millimeters. Right. I mean, They're, so you could take the double stack Glock mags, throw that in, and then say a year down the line, you get a crazy uh, idea to switch to like SIG or like CZ or something like that. We're going to have adapters that you take the two pins out and you drop in from the top and it'll orient the magazine in the right spot. So you can take CZ, SIG, Smith & Wesson, so forth and so on really adapt it to any magazine and any caliber too. 5.7, 22 LR, you could do a 40, 357 SIG, 45 ACP, and even 10 mil. That's a brilliant concept. And I, I think even notwithstanding that concept about having that magazine interchangeability yeah. with your sidearm, this on its own is a really awesome pistol caliber carbine. Oh, absolutely. Can you walk us through the features like from front to back? Sure, yeah, absolutely. So first we'll start with the uh, barrel nut here. Well, first we have a threaded barrel for suppressor use or muzzle devices, stuff like that. You have a ratcheting barrel nut, so this screws off right here. And then the barrel just pops out and your carrier will actually come out the front. So the way the adapters are gonna work is is once you take the barrel out, you take the carrier out. And unlike a um, like a 9mm AR where the bolt carrier is all one piece and it's not adaptable, we all, we'll actually have a separate bolt that inside of there. So when you get to the conversion, you're not getting a whole carrier. Right. It's cheaper for us, it's cheaper for you. So you, right. you're not going to buy this gun, which starting MSRP is like 800 bucks. Mm -hmm. You're not going to spend 500 on conversion for it. That makes sure. no sense. So right. we got we to make it uh, accessible. That's really, yeah. yeah. So coming back, there's a barrel nut. Uh, we have M-lock slots on the uh, six and nine o'clock position, or no, three and nine o'clock positions. Six and 12, you have uh, 1913 Picatinny rails. Uh, you have a beveled and flared magwell, easy reloads. Um, ambidextrous mag release, and we'll have an ambidextrous bolt catch and release as well. Um, we're just uh, patent pending on that, so we didn't want to come show it off to all our competitors sure. at SHOT Show. Yeah, smart. So the, the uh, upper receiver on here is actually the firearm. So um, we're going to be doing lowers about that, both machined out of uh, billet aluminum and uh, we're going to do polymer as well. So you'll be able to buy different lowers for different calibers too. Like the uh, 5.7 obviously has a longer magazine, so it's going to be a different lower than the 9mm one. So we'll be able to do that with this gun. There's a lot of adaptability, a lot of things we're going to be able to do with it. Um, and then it takes just regular AR-15 stocks, right? Is that yeah, a, so a yeah, standard this, buffer? This is an SBA-3 brace from SB Tactical. We're going we're gonna to have a shorter model that's like just the tube. Uh, it's like the price point gun, entry level. And then this is obviously an option you have as a pistol brace. You can SBR it. It's simple. And the lower, I mean, it looks like you're probably going to have a lot of parts interchangeability yeah. with the AR-15. This obviously is an AR-15, correct? Fire control group. Yeah, fire so control group. So you can drop group. your CMC triggers in there. That's what I suggest. Nine, yeah, yeah. They have a 9 mil specific one, so that's no-brainer for me. But uh, And what I really like, left non side, yeah, there. Left side charging handle, non-reciprocating. So you Perfect. pull that back, and you're, you're not going to... Um, you don't have a lot of room here. You're not going to hit yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you don't a have a lot of room here to uh, have a reciprocating close. charging exactly. handle. And then I, I see there's a little bit of length difference between... Yep, so we have a, this would be like the K model, short, and then that's, that's like a seven inch barrel. These are five. Uh, you get more rail interface there. You get more room to mount your lights and lasers or whatever you might want on there. And they're both quite handy. I yeah, mean, exactly. in either configuration. They're tiny, they barely weigh anything. Really nice. Well, Mike, thanks a ton, as usual, for being on TFB TV. Yeah. We always Thank appreciate you. seeing you yeah. guys, and Likewise. we can't wait to see what next year holds, too. <laughs> yeah. But you're going to do really well with this. Oh, I, I think can so tell. Too. Yep. Awesome.